Hi, my name is Lee Wallach and I'm the Senior Minister of the Agape Center for Spiritual Living. At Agape, we teach a positive, practical spirituality that honors all paths. One of the things that people want most in life is a sense of happiness. So today I want to talk to you about how do we live a life in joy? How do we become happy? I want to share with you that from the very beginning we're taught that happiness comes from outside of us. It comes from our parents. It comes from our friends. It comes from our family. It comes from our spouse. It comes from the things we buy. And I want to tell you that that is a road that we do not want to go on because it is endless. And as soon as we get it, the happiness disappears. I want to suggest, not only, not only just suggest, I want to tell you that happiness is an inside job. It is a state of being that when you become this expression of God, this happy and joyful being, this accepting who you are, you now bring the joy to the party. So I'm going to give you some simple steps that are going to help you to live a life that is fully centered in joyous being. The first one is to simply decide. To leave no other option but to say, I will live my life in joy. I will choose to think joy. I will choose to speak joy. I will choose to act in joy. From that, we now can shift how we focus our day. So we no longer focus on any possibility of complaining because we know when we are complaining, we're focusing in the opposite area of joy. So simply by eliminating that type of conversation, we have lifted our vibration, the frequency of what we are, and we will have a more joyous life. The next thing is to live a life in gratitude, to be grateful for everything that happens to us because in that we understand that we've created it. And when we understand we've created it, we understand we have the power over it. So if it's not something we like, we can simply shift and recreate again. The next step would be to do things that are new, to do things that are exciting, to do things that are expansive. Because you see, we weren't meant to be the same. We were meant to grow and to become and to experience and to create and to express. And when we're doing that, we become like little children. You know, Jesus said, to see God, you have to look through the eyes of children. Well, to find happiness, you've got to be in the mind of a child. But most importantly, it's not to look to the future for your happiness, but it's to be fully present in the now. For the now is all we ever have. And when we bring that sense of joy into the now, no matter where we are, we smile, we bask, we live, and we attract that right to us. So I suggest this week, give it a try. Make a decision to be happy. Once you've made that decision, live a complaint-free life. Live a life in gratitude. Try new things. And then be fully present in the moment. I guarantee you, within a week, a month, a year, you won't recognize how much joy you've created in your life. Thank you so much for listening. I now wait to hear your magnificent stories. Have a great day.